love it or hate it, marijuana is changing the way people view the Rocky Mountain High. Now this week, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie slammed Colorado's quality of life since the legalization of marijuana. Cardio News Channel 13's Rana Novini is finding out how this new image affects tourism. Jason and Heather, I'm at Garden of the Gods. It's one of more than 50 attractions that the Visitors Bureau promotes to tourists. Marijuana is not on that list. There was the Super Bowl. Then Spirit Airlines encouraging you to get mile high. All jabs at Colorado's budding new industry. The only way we encourage people to get high is go up Pikes Peak or hike the incline. The Colorado Springs Convention and Visitors Bureau says it doesn't market pot tourism because that's not what defines Colorado. But it's hard to ignore the fact that people are coming here for cannabis. I think actually your guys' reputation has, has gotten better. Doris has Crohn's disease. She's visiting from Wyoming to see doctors and to ask about marijuana for treatment. You can't sleep because your whole body aches. You're in pain. It's a horrible thing. Uh, have a couple puffs off of a joint, and all of a sudden you've had a wonderful night's sleep. The more you see, the more you look into it, the more you'll see that, that there's more good being caused for medical marijuana than harm. The medical marijuana move is familiar to Jordan Stanley. He and his brothers grow a strain of cannabis called Charlotte's Web that helps kids with seizures. We have people contacting us, you know, sometimes 500 calls a week from people all over the world, all over the country, you know, who are interested in helping their child. But there is a flip side to the reefer reputation. Other states are now looking at, Colo at residents of Colorado for uh, drug smuggling just because they have Colorado plates on their vehicle. As Colorado's image transforms, everyone we talked to agreed nothing can trump the views. You will never show me a bud that takes my breath away the way that the High Rockies or the Garden of the Gods or any part of Colorado does. I talked to the Pueblo Chamber of Commerce. They also said that they're not promoting pot tourism and they're also not keeping track of marijuana tourism numbers. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Rana Novini, KRDN News Channel 13.